British police have reported more than 2,200 arrests following this week's riots, arson attacks, and widespread looting in London and other major cities. And the British government, under fire over the police response to the urban violence, may have something to learn from American methods. Elaine Quijano explains. In Philadelphia, officials are cracking down after a recent rash of mob attacks targeting people and property. We are not joking around. Police flooded parts of the city last night and arrested about 50 teenagers for violating a newly enforced curfew. Police Commissioner Charles Ramsey makes no apologies for the tactic. I mean, we're talking about 14, 15, 16-year-old uh, youngsters. They're old enough to know right from wrong and they know what they're doing is wrong and they'll suffer the consequences. So far, the curfews have worked in preventing further incidents, and they're just one tool police in the U.S. are using. Now, in the wake of deadly riots in his country, Britain's Prime Minister David Cameron is turning to the U.S. for help in curbing mob violence there. And that is why I'll be discussing how we can go further in getting to grips with gangs with people like Bill Bratton, former commissioner of police in New York and Los Angeles. Bill Bratton is widely regarded as one of the nation's most effective crime fighters. He says community policing is key. Community policing, where crime is occurring, that's where you want to put your police. But you don't want your police there just making arrests. You want them networking, building relationships. Bratton also says he'd be open to a controversial idea floated by Prime Minister Cameron to restrict social media to head off violence, though he says Britain's parliament would have to establish clear rules for doing so. I think it's quite clear that uh, the issue of social media, that's been so much of the issue in London's riots recently, is going to have to be explored much more closely by government, media, the public, that if it's found that it's really contributing to the spread of violence. Bratton's unpaid consulting work for Cameron, set to begin in September, isn't sitting well with everyone, including the leader of a group that represents British police. To be given this slap in the face by the Prime Minister and told that he wants to bring in Bill Bratton. The idea that Bill Bratton is coming over, I'm not coming over with an armada or an invasion force, I'm coming over to share information. That's what policing is all about. Bratton says American law enforcement has dealt with gangs and mob violence for decades. Experience he believes will prove invaluable for police in the UK. Elaine Quijano, CBS News, New York.